Hey guys, Tyler up here bringing you a 1v1 today. We're on road to Tunis. I'm actually spawning on the left. We have a Red Wings playing as US forces. Unselected on the battle group so far. Closing him, Gino with Wehrmacht and uh, has gone for Breakthrough. Oh, I forgot to check these guys' ranks. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, we all know who Red Wings is. Uh, it'll be fine. I think I've cast Gino before as well. So he's gone Engineer into 4x4. Of course, having not selected Armored as of yet, may still go for it. Won't have Vet 1 on the 4x4 immediately. And yeah, after that cast the other day, definitely do seem to be uh, a few 4x4 bugs. Hopefully they'll get fixed in uh, tomorrow's hotfix, so I'll probably come up the day of the hotfix. That won't be such a big issue. But yeah, I mean, they can 4x4 can seemingly fire, like if it's locked onto a unit, continue firing at it up to like 90-ish range, it seems. And also, uh, instead of being able to fire in like a cone forwards, it can fire like 360, I think, also when it's locked onto a unit. Extremely fast as well, this patch, after the movement speed buffs. Able to cap up most of the important resources. You've got to be very careful with your kit and when you're up against these 4x4s. We have riflemen taking the field. So speedy. So much more lethal this patch, and here we go, 404 coming in, targets the pyres initially, now the kitten trying to get away. Oh, but the 404 takes a big burst on its rear armor, he tries to go hunting, could backfire the grenadiers there. Oh boy, the pathing, Oh, Yeah, I think he just gave an order slightly on this side, so it wanted to wiggle its way across here. If he just drove it straight through, it would have been fine. Ouch. Close call on the kitten, but it does survive. A little bit uh, reckless from Red Wings, I'll say that. And now he's uh, quite far behind after that. Do remember, these guys got five extra starting health now. I don't think Red Wings noticed the heavy cover got destroyed there. Making a bit of a poor engagement. Now a mine coming up for Gino out on the far VP area. Has not connected his medium fuel point though, so not doing too well in terms of fuel. Red Wings should have the advantage there. A bit of a patchwork on the uh, map though. A victory point is under attack. We must act. Now backing away with the kitten. Couple bursts and it could go down. Gotta be careful when it's that low in health. Got anything else for us? Could, you know, go for the cables and then come victory across here, do some capping with it, get control. some boosted resources. I think this map is one of the ones where it's not as powerful. You know, pretty much every point except for these medium munitions right in the corner ends up getting harassed on this map. Not as safe as Toronto, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of capping going on. A little bit of skirmish over here. Riflemen do have the advantage at this range, but Gino completes the capture. Coming in now. Ooh, a sniper from Gino now. Get it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, he was asking for trouble, running it around on like 40-ish health for so long. Right, I'm going to take it down fast. But yeah, Sniper did get a slight bull time buff from Ember, so... Mechanized support center upgraded. Interesting. One of our strategic Mechanized from Red Wings, and uh, using that to build a quad now. I was, you know, with my uh, support center build, I was hitting quads very, very fast. We have holes in our front line. So maybe it's a new tactic. Maybe I'll make a 
FPV and a bit of a guide on it if it shapes up to be a good one. Push on to the cutoff now, Sniper. Give me a couple shots as he backpedals. Sprinkling wrong range there. It gets a little bit low. Takes a couple shots. Grenade out onto the engineers. Decent dodge though. Oh, the sniper in some trouble. Is going to survive. And here comes the quad now. Is he going to go for a base dive? Could be possible. There's no Faustin units nearby. Uh, we do have a 2 2 1 in the build for Gino at this stage. I have to imagine the 2 2 1 doesn't do very well in the head to head against the quad, though. Smoke out in the base for Gino just in case the quad did decide to go for a dive. Get some defensive measures up. No healing yet for Gino. He rushed out this 2 2 1 as fast as he could. And even then, it wasn't that fast because of all the uh, harass. Early on, slow connecting his other medium fuel. Late retreat here from Gino. Here comes the 2 2 1. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Took a nasty burst and he's now got no repairs for the 2 2 1. I think the 2 2 1 only has one penetration at all ranges, which is really bad. So it's it's not even oh, sprinting. He does have the uh, grenades. Almost got the sticky bomb off there. So it's really bad in the vehicle matchups. Like even chasing down things like the four x four really struggles to finish them off. It's just got so low penetration. It's so strange the two two one having one penetration and bars having like two point seven five or whatever it is. We've lost the territory sector. Taking it personally. Enemy sniper, he's picking us off! Sniper picks Take a shot there. So low on health. He does have the medics coming online. Well, looking for an angle, looking for an opportunity. We Engineers come out to the far side. The 221's coming back through the center. The enemy is moving on our strategic point. Bad territory control at the moment for Gino. Has fielded a flak 30 though. This thing would actually do some pretty good damage to the quad. I actually played against uh, DVM the other night when I was doing my fast quad. And by the time I realized the uh, flak was there, I'd already taken so much damage. I lost like three quarters of my health to it. Ended up getting chased down and killed. It was the first game. The first game I was trying the strategy, I played against uh, DVM. So it's some late night... Uh, Balance testing, I guess. Did not go well for me. Sector gone. We must take it back. Back lining up. I feel like it's. You know, maybe it's just because I'm zoomed out. Leave him. Okay, he's gonna sit up and start firing here. Didn't quite have enough of a front line to make that work. The 221's coming across. I've been applying a bit of pressure, but should survive here. Sniper coming back in now as well. Here's the 221 against the quad. What goes on to prioritize vehicles? The flak sets up. It's a big burst in. Red Wings throws out a grenade. Decent damage. Oh. Oh, gets decrewed right at the base doorstep. Got a bazooka squad coming in. Getting chopped up by the Jaegers though at this stage. We actually got a sniper from Red Wings looking for a counter snipe opportunity. A weasel his way down there. The quad's still on prioritized vehicles. Opens up now. Flak recruit and back up to full strength already. Merge into it, maybe. But yeah, this Jaeger had a bit too much staying power. Because he's so slow taking it off prioritized vehicles. 221 coming in. Oh, he gets revealed on the sniper. Needs to get out of there. I think the 221 has enhanced detection range. 
And that sniper goes down so fast. Oh, that is really bad for Red Wings. And just like that, Gino's back in the game. Goes out of smoke with the Jaeger. Gino managed to cap out to the edge again. The Flak definitely keeping the quad under control. As you saw there, it was like close to a full burst took the... The quad down to about half health. A victory point is under attack. We must Makes act. it a lot easier for the 2 2 1 after that. Here we come, Jerry. He's got Vet 1 on That's it now. He's got the shoot and scoot. Wide load. Requisition to hazard. Victory so far, point. the bazookas haven't really control. done a lot. He's trying to sneak them around the corner. Remember, this does have uh, enhanced sight in this patch. And he's put the radio antenna on this now as well. Here comes the bazookas. Oh! Still alive. 5 HP. One of the rifles just need to pin there and that was it. Quad coming in. Pressuring. Looking for the D-crew on this flat gun. It's rather isolated. Oh! Switches over. Knocks out the 2 2 1. But oh boy, Gino's gone for that uh, Stostrup and Corlin with the 2 5 1. So you can just connect for a bit of damage. I wonder if he'll upgrade this with the uh, Stummel. Goes out of Renee's Red Wings before retreating. The quad still dominating the center of the map. It's not got any Shreks yet on the Jaegers or anything, so it's just up to that flat, really, through the fighting. Red Wing still has all of his battle groups available as an option. But yeah, Gino did go down this side, the 251, so it means the Tiger will come extremely late. Going for an alternative strategy here, Gino. It's Vet 2 there, softening up those Stostrupen. Does have decent frontal arm of the quad, so it won't get pinned too hard Reports by the Stoss. Near our victory point. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Does pop the Strummel, but uh, merged into the Stostrupen. So they're back up to full strength. Saves a bit of manpower. That's really the secret source to soft troop and just merge into them with greedies all the time. We're losing a strategic point. It's like way more effective than merging into guards used to be. Ouch. That was a painful retreat for Red Wings. It does have a mine down over here. Stimmel is extremely long range though. He's having to respect that. Flat gun's backing this up so the quad can't be too aggressive. He's coming out to the side with the quad instead, but Gina did get a little patch of cover down. It'll take a while to dislodge. There's another mine down here for Red Wings. Stimmel has softened that up. And actually the Stummel, I guess, maybe that also benefits from the changes to this patch. It, it feels, or looks to be a bit more responsive. A little at least cumbersome to use, actually. Tank Depot up for Red Wings. He, he doesn't have any healing. He's got enough for a tank of some description. It's going to be a regular Sherman. But Red Wings was a big fan of the Bulldozer. But Gino coming up with his final stage of tech. Pardon? Still ages away from that. Any type of tank from that Panzer Company. Our opponent has all victory points were they still firing their machine gun while they were retreating? Did I see that correctly? It seemed like they just continued their burst until their burst finished, even though they were retreating for about a second before that. Only some weird bugs, this Catch patch. Red Wings backs out to his mechanized to get some repairs on the quad. The Sherman's on the field now. 
look see uh, no upgrades nothing cooking either box and two spec ops commandos the manpower for them now if he wants them that's a very uh High arc of fire from the Strimmel. Sherman's coming in from the side, trying to chase down the sniper. It's going to switch itself over to the Strimmel. Strimmel does have a Vet 1 ability, could maybe save it here. Blinding shot. Oh, he doesn't have munitions for it. Unfortunate for G Note. Five muni short. You know, does have some dominant territory control. You know, Red Wings having lost a bit of his infantry. He's been struggling to cap up a bit. The Stummel was providing a lot of pressure through the center. Sherman, though, backing all the way out here after that first attack. I'm not entirely sure why. Still plenty of work for it to uh, do. And, uh, you know, there's only one Jaeger Shrek. We're down to 250 Irving's points. got the SSF commandos coming out now. Completes the capture. Quad dives past the flak. Hoping to get the decrew on it. And there it goes. Vet 2 quad. Seeing to that. Jagerstrick chasing down the Sherman. I guessing he's talking about this. He I mean, did about half damage to the quad as it drove through, but... That's a flank to go finished off very fast. Contact! Capture point is being overrun! Alright, now the Jaeger out for Chino. Ray Wings has locked in, he's got the... Strafing runs available. Trick missing there. Runs in a little bit closer, hoping for a follow up. I think the Sherm is fast enough to get away though. CSF meanwhile doing major damage on the far side. The quad's actually going to chase him down. Looks quite fast, even without popping the speed boost here. Maybe that's the Vet 2. Chasing him down, chasing him down. One more burst. And there he goes, he gets it. It's one of those mines. Only drops one model to it. He'll, here he comes in from the other side, though. The sniper now in some major trouble. And there we go, finishes that off as well, the quad. Doing tremendously well, but oh boy, was that a Panzerfaust? On this grenade, yeah, they've got unusual squad spacing. Bit of follow up from a Jaeger Shrek and the Flak and the quad just before it was about to hit V3, or maybe it did. Just at the end there, ends up going down, but I mean, a pyre wipe and a sniper kill. A, a fair trade at this stage, unless you need the anti-air for something. A strategic point is being played. We know that Gino uh, doesn't have Maintain any the front line. The enemy have two anything. Incendiary bombing run. I don't think you could even really sh hope to shoot that down. Crowds are pushing us back. We're down to 250. And now a whiz bang out for <laughs> Red Wings. Got a Panzer IV over here for Gino. Got to be targeting Take the flak, I'm sure, Christ. with the whiz bang. That's pretty much what it'll be good for. But oh boy, Gino's got a lot of infantry right in that tiny area. No hope of the flak escaping. I'll try to jump on it, but the rockets are still going. Remember, the whiz bang got five more rockets. Here come the bazookas from the site. Get one volley off, but they're taking too much damage from the Stoss. He's going to try jump on it with the Stoss, I think, trying to get away with it here. A fuel Expensive. 200 points remaining on our front line. Capping out on the far edge. Red Wings is quite far behind on the VPs at this stage. 
And repairs are quite slow from that mechanized support center. Has not got any uh, f upgrades from it still. There's a bit of resources to spare now. They've pushed us off a sector. Ready with the knife. SSF out on the far side. We're losing our capture point. There we go. Connects for a couple of bazookas. Got some heavy cover. I'm a major Gino planters. Helping protect them from that Panzer IV damage. And look at the rate of fire on those SSF Commando Bazookas. They got a really good rate of fire now after that patch. Did a lot of damage to the Panzer IV. I think they ran a bit hot on the penetration, but. Still good. And okay, Red Wing's got his med tent coming up now. Quite late. Probably has ended up costing them quite a lot of manpower over the course of the match, but... Oh, those bazookas, they're so unreliable. I don't think they even managed to fire their bazookas there. Here comes the whizbang, though. Cheeky one on the repairs. Remember the whizbang rockets do have 50% deflection damage, so even if they don't penetrate, they still actually do a decent amount to tank like that. Angustrix trying to get in position to return fire. Red Wing's capping in the center. Stops the clock. 152 now. It's branching out to the far edge also. Flak. Healthy again. Sherman going to try and come out to the side. have a slight health advantage. So probably would win the head-to-head. Jaeger Shrix need to jump out of the building. Bazooka's rolling up. A bit of uh, indecisiveness, but the Panzer IV gets away eventually. MP40's on these grenadiers, but not the optimal range for them by any means. Up in the uh, V1 ability. Whose grenade was that? Is that Gino's? The enemy has mm, can't, can't slip units on retreat anymore. We're down Good for gameplay, points. bad for observing. I wonder if they'll add that back in when they eventually add the observer mode. Zooka's actually doing a lot of damage to the building. Just playing going into the center. Maybe he seems to target that a little bit shallow, or maybe it's just bad scatter actually. Five kills so far and three barrages. Second Panzer four on the field now for Gino. Second Sherman though for Red Wings. I wonder if this is the timing for him to go for the Series 6 mil upgrade. It did get uh, 10 fuel cheaper this patch, so we'll have him go head to head with the Panzer Fours. That's what he wants to be doing. Commander, we should spend our munitions. It'll be a fair time for it. The Panzer IVs are up here. I think we did see the scout throw out a flare just earlier from Red Wing, so he's probably aware of uh, what's in the vicinity. Jaeger a little bit slow rotating cross here. Two on one. Panzer IV is getting low, but Red Wing's going to go in for a dive. This uh, oh, he's bringing in the uh, the planes, hoping to decrease the flak. Oh, or maybe not. I thought it was flat targeted, maybe I was off base. Shut down the Jaegers with their Shrek. Suppression wears off down here, the uh, just bang. A few seconds off being able to fire again. Ooh. Let's call those grenade assaults on the Stoss Troop and very strong. 
Black's still up here. I don't actually know how much penetration it has. Couldn't imagine it's a lot. It's decrewed. And finished off by the Woods Bank Sherman combo. Definitely you know, left it in there for far too long. No support. Was asking for trouble. Did, did get decrewed about four times. P47 awaiting a target. Not surprised it had no vet. Jaeger smoking into the center. Reaping still appearing, but he does have the hazard removal package. The faster appear speeds on those now. Defend our victory point. He's left both Shermans in the center. I suppose he could have sent one of them back to repair at the mechanized support center, but maybe he's worried about the Panzer IVs coming back to the front and overwhelmed in a two-on-one type situation. So I've been doing some testing, and I'll probably release the video shortly, but Jaeger Shreks firing from camouflage. If you want their ambush bonus, you have to right click. You can't just uh, take hold fire off. And that often didn't cause, didn't allow the uh, ambush bonus to trigger. We've lost control of the second. <laughs> like a friendly uh, kill situation going on there from the Panzer IV. Let's get the squad out of the building eventually. Still just regular Sherman tanks for Red Wings and he's got his rear armor exposed at the start of this fight. Not so good. Sherman does have Vet 2 and he's got a mine down here Red Wings. Might be able to bait the Panzer IV in. Trades going on, the Panzer IV. Victory point has fallen into enemy. Pretty similar in the head to head so far. Here comes the whiz bang into the middle though. Red Wings does need the clock to be stopped. And oh boy, Gino's gone for a command tank. It's a uh, one you don't see too often. If I remember rightly, I think it's got about 70 penetration. Oh boy, he's activated uh, Blitzkrieg, was it? What? What's that? What's this? Oh man, oh, that's a command tank buff. I was like, what? What is that buff? He's in the planes. Oh, runs right into it though. The tail end of it. The other Panzer IV in some major trouble. The command tank's going in, looking for the kill, and they trade. Right at the end there, Red Wings still in here with some bazooka action. He could go for the jettison launcher. Yep, there he goes. It's no longer a whiz bang, it's a regular Sherman. And he kills off the command tank with that. He's also vetted up now with the bazookas. Could maybe have launched a phosphorus rocket out, but deciding to get out of there alive okay yeah so this time it was the Stoss Trooper I wasn't sure if it was them or the Willy Pete but I think the Willy Pete has like a f one and a half second fuse right so okay, assault this time from the Grenadiers partial dodge the commando's healthy enough couple shots from the Jaeger Shrix they're up to V3 now Mano's chasing them down, hoping for a bit of extra bleed. Red Wings still quite far behind on the VPs. He's at 34 pop to Gino's 35. Oh, 46. Oh, well, Fresh Sherman just popped out, and he's got the 76mm upgun now. It doesn't look like the 76mm upgun applies to a jettisoned uh, whiz bang. That's interesting. I think this is probably the first time it's ever happened in the history of Company Heroes 3, though. Somebody has jettisoned the whiz bang and also had the 76 mil upgun. I don't know if that's intentional or not.
Received. Enemies down to 200 points. Tino, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a little bit low on fuel at this stage. Not particularly close to another tank. Let's rely on those Jaeger Shricks. Red Wings, I think, letting Gene off the hook there. That probably should have been a squad wipe. Does not have the machine gun upgrade on this tank, though, Enemy either. Near a victory point. And there is that Sherman. Where's Bang? Jager Shrek comes in. Gets the ambush bonus. Out to 200 damage to so the regular 160 for that first shot. Another Shrek about to pop for Gino. Gonna try to hang around for one more shot, hoping these rocks shield him from the damage. Now I've got the commandos in here. I think Gino may be uh, pushing it a little bit. This range, the Jaeger Shrieks are crazy inaccurate. Shrieks from the planes out to the side. I believe these planes are identical in strength. To the ASC ones, once they've got the double sortie, but these obviously cost about twice as much. Oh, through a knife? It doesn't even drop a model from the Stoss Trooper? Oh, that's disappointing. I thought the knife throw would be like a critical. Guaranteed to kill a model, but it looks like that's not the case. Maybe it does about 100 damage. That's really sad. It makes the knife throw way less appealing. don't really like its particle effect where it's got, you know, the kind of trail behind it. Either. Doesn't, I suppose it makes it obvious for the opponent to notice it, but it looks tacky, I think. Skies are clear. Ready for orders. Patched up. Repairs complete. But yeah, nice to see Red Wings. Yeah, he's making use of the knife throw vet. Oh boy, here he goes, sprinting, looking for a Faust, perhaps. Cancel the Faust. Doesn't look like it would have been enough damage, and it looks like he's popped the HE rounds now on the Series 6 mil. Yeah, Faust was not quite enough health damage for the uh, permanent engine crit. He's got the crew shock off. HE rounds going to town here. Here comes a fresh Panzer IV, though. Red Wings really testing his luck. Oh, one more shot and he's dead. It looks like the HE rounds don't do very much damage to that building. It looks like Gino reluctant to chase. Which I think is the right choice with two SSFs there, potentially with their bazookas rolling. Could be trouble. Rear Wings again behind on the VP, so he loses control over here. I think this is another ch chance where he should have used the phosphorus rocket to clear off those pyres faster. And oh, here we go. This is Red Wings. He's got the bulldozer going. Looks like he's gone for a dozer blade up, I, I think. Allowing the bulldozer to run around at normal speed. I don't think we've seen Gino plant any mines at this point, so he's pretty safe. We have 75 points remaining. Down, maybe. The problem with this is I've seen it run over mines and still cause damage and engine crit to the bulldozer dozer blade, so uh, I would say it's almost not never worth using at this stage, unless that's been fixed in the most recent patch, I can't can't recall. Now triggers down here. Bulldozer with a bit of a drive bite. Does have the vet? He did go for the phosphorus instead of the sprint. But I don't think we've seen him use them to this point. Bulldozer was a big winner in this most recent patch. Did get a big armor boost on the front. 
And looks like Red Wings has also got the improvised armor, so it's boosted up even further. I think it normally has 240 on the front now, 288. Into fours up here. I'll prioritize vehicles. Took it off now. Yeah, he's got the improvised armor. Shame is quite low. Bulldozer coming back in. Just out of range. Bazooka staying in there for too long. The Jaegers finish them off. Drops the Bazooka though. Maybe the engineers could collect that. Shim comes in from the side, but there's a bad run with penetrations. And remember, he doesn't have. Oh, they drop both Bazookas. Doesn't have a 76 mil upgun on this one. The Jettison's whiz bang. But I think he does have the uh, bonus armor. Bouncing quite a few shots from the Panzer IV. Eventually going down. Here comes the Bulldozer. Could get the kill on the Jaeger here. Needs to get that 76 mil in here. Oh no! The armor on the Bulldozer. Couldn't stand up to that punishment. A bit, I have to say, that was a bit of a throw from Red Wings. Not gonna lie. Now he's down to 40 pop to Gino with uh, 54. These Jaeger Shreks really uh, some Red Wings some headaches. He does have the triple cap running. But he's... Okay, he's dropping down the planes. Quick retreat. Still took a bit of damage on the first pass. Looks like the Panzer IV is going to dive in. Gino popping the blitz. Chasing him in here. Misses a crucial shot. Still going. Bounces the next one. The bazookas on the engineers connecting. Oh, the 76 still surviving. A little bit longer. And he's just committed here. Bazooka's going to finish him off. Oh, or maybe not. He went into hold down mode. Got to come in from the other side with the bazooka again. <laughs> What a fiesta. So many bounces for Gino. I have to feel a little bit sorry for him. I mean, Red Wings does have the bonus armor, I suppose. I feel like he had a bit of a bad run there with all the bounces and misses. Ordinarily, I don't think it would have gone so poorly for him. Lana's jumping into the building here. Red Wings still low on VPs. Could be Gino's avenue to victory. Oh, that just exactly gave him an engine crit. Everyone's just going to sit here and try and win this fight. Ooh, late retreat. They're durable though, those Jaegers. Well, out capping war, Gino's in here. Here goes the Willy Pete. As I said, yeah, it's got the fuse, so that's how you can tell them apart from the Stostrupin's one. Oh, and well, now it's Red Wings overstaying his welcome. Oh! You see that Gino is just about to disengage from the chase, but he did end up getting the squad wipe. Johnson's on the ground. Engineers, but maybe you're going to get some uh, some more strong equipment. I don't know. You know, this is not the one with the bazookas, so can't pick that up. Sprinting out here, Gino. He's looking to drain off those last few VPs. Everyone, scout, can't really hold this position. It rings 32 pop to Gino's 35. Lot riding on the Sherman. It's healthy again now. Do you know, still quite a lot of fuel away from his next tank. The Sherman's got a lot of time to work. Rear Wing's losing that SSF commando. Does hurt him a lot. We 
really low on capping units now. Got a mine down in the centre. Yeah, you know, can't go for the cap with the Series 6 right there. Another Sherman in the build for Red Wings. Gino was side teched. Wow. I didn't notice that. Side teched to Pentagon Day Company built a pack. Probably would delay his. Uh, he could have another Panzer IV out at this stage. That's why you don't see it too often. So Red Wings was trying to get. Is that a mortar? position down there Reports of enemy movement near our Not victory sure. point our Okay, one bazooka, one LMG Okay, sitting up here with the pack Oh, great idea Getting out of there by his skin on his teeth and a friendly fire from his own mine Oh no, Red Wings so sad for him. I wonder, was he going to die regardless of that? Or did the extra damage from that actually seal the deal? I wasn't paying close enough attention to the health thresholds. Ouch. Maybe he's doing well in close range. Commander's trying to get out of there, but it might be another squad might for Red Wings. Oh. It is indeed. Tried to push it to the absolute limit there, and it backfired on him. It's a draining for Gino, but he's still got close to 200 remaining. Plenty of time to work. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. He brings down to 18 population now, but he's close to another Sherman. Fresh Panzer four out, and this time it's got the skirts for Gino as well. Ready for orders. They've taken our victory point. Should have known full strength. Took a shot. Oh boy, have they got a double shrieks or is that a bazooka and a shriek? A victory point is under attack. We must act. It's like it's a bazooka and a shriek. Could be a wipe on the pies though. Oh wonder if it's one of those zero health jobs. Kinda looks like it. Getting away here, most of attack ground maybe from Gino, hoping for a, a lucky scatter. Okay, Red Wings put down a HMG fighting position to guard this VP on the edge. He's back on the drain though, 38 points left. Does have another Sherman about to pop out. He's got double time on the repairs, both the mechanized and the engineers. Engineers don't actually have the sweeper upgrade though. Something you could do. Luckily, the Panzer IV would have taken that engine crit. That would have been really good for Red Wings. Bad for Gino. He kind of got lucky that the Jaeger got that off and he retreated. I think that was a mistake retreating with that Jaeger. Three models. Still reasonably healthy. Looks like most of Red Wings' mines have triggered, and Gino just planted his own shoe mine down here. Bunker still alive. 23 points left for Red Wings. Sherman is healthy again. He's going to tank ride into battle. Try to get out there a bit faster. Oh boy, but that's a bad one-two punch on the Sherman. It's very low after that. She's getting some repairs on the uh, HMG bunker. AT guns coming up here to try and attack round it down. Hands of four and hold down mode, but he breaks out of it now. He's desperately trying to out repair this damage. Okay, tank rides in. Deploys. But we've got the Jaegers with the bazooka and the Shrek up here. Sherman dies fast to the AT gun. Hands of four. Everyone's just getting chopped to pieces by that V3 Stoss Troopin. Killed him off so fast. And there we go. Red Wings drains out on the VPs. 
Oh, it was looking pretty good for Ruby Wings this game. I'll say that much. But it was that move when he came in from the side with the uh, jettisoned Sherman. And just, yeah, a bit, a bit clumsy with the maneuvering. Ended up taking so many losses. He was never really able to grind his way back in from that point. Quite far behind on victory points as well. Maybe pushing a couple of those commando retreats to the absolute limit. Ended up getting punished. MP40 Grenadiers wiping two squads of those on retreats. And yeah, just didn't have almost any capping power after that. Still a, a very f entertaining game, this one, you know. Lots of action. Lots of uh, questionable maneuvers, but added to the... Added to the action for sure. GG, uh, well played. Gino taking this one. Some off meta stuff here as well, which is uh, nice to see. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, we cast by me details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.